and welcome, Hoosier Nation, to another edition of the Hoosier Sound Off, recorded on Monday morning, November 25th, 2019. I am your host, Andrew Root, and I'm here for your quick roundup of IU Sports News. Men's soccer began NCAA tournament play with a 3-0 victory over Kentucky Sunday afternoon. The MVP for the Hoosiers was forward Victor Brazera as he netted all three goals for the Indiana offense. The freshman's hat trick was the first of his collegiate career, and the Hoosiers' first since 2012. Bezerra currently leads Indiana in scoring, as he is now up to 8 goals on the season. With the victory, the quest for 9 continues as the Hoosiers advance to the third round of the NCAA tourney for the fifth consecutive season. They will face off against UC Santa Barbara after the holidays on December 1st in Bloomington. Indiana women's basketball went on the road for the first time this season and defeated Florida 73-49 Friday night. The game was all knotted up at 15 after the first quarter, but the Hoosiers came out on an 11-3 run and took an 11-point lead into the halftime break. Indiana extended their lead in the second half thanks to shooting over 50% from the floor, putting the Hoosiers over the top. Sophomore Grace Berger led all scorers with 23 points while also shooting 66% from the field. It was Berger's second 20-plus scoring output this season and the second time she has led the Hoosiers in scoring in four games. The competition gets tougher as the number 18 Hoosiers go on the road to the Paradise Jam over Thanksgiving, where they will face number 5 South Carolina, number 2 Baylor, and Washington State. Moving to the gridiron, Indiana fell to Michigan 39-14 Saturday afternoon in Bloomington. The Hoosiers came out strong with an early lead, but like many games in the past, Indiana was unable to make the plays they needed to pull off a program-changing upset. The Hoosiers' defense gave up 32 points after taking the lead 14-7 and fell victim to the big playability by quarterback Shea Patterson and the Wolverine offense. Patterson went 20-32 for with 366 yards and 5 touchdowns through the air. The Hoosiers were unable to get a consistent pass rush with their front four defenders, causing defensive coordinator Kane Womack to send extra rushers. This left the Hoosiers' secondary defenders to guard the Michigan's receivers alone, and the young defense could not stop the Wolverines from finding pay dirt. After the loss, Indiana moves to 7-4 on the season and will travel to West Lafayette next Saturday to face their in-state rival, the Purdue Boilermakers. The battle for the Old Elkin Bucket is set to kick off at noon Eastern and can be seen live on ESPN2. Remember to watch us live Tuesday evenings at 8.30pm or subscribe to our podcast, The Hoosier Sound, wherever you listen to podcasts. If you like the transcript and links mentioned in today's show, head over to indianahq.com to check that out in addition to all our insightful articles. We will catch you next Monday, December 2nd, for the next edition of the Hoosier Sound Off. But as always, thank you for listening, Hoosier Nation, and we'll see you next time.